Today I'll show you how to render any 3D model like this. We will use First things first, make sure you have Python installed, link in the description. Next, open command prompt and type the following commands. PIP install PyOpenGL, PIP install Pygame. Let's begin. First thing we gotta do is we gotta make a new folder. This is where we'll store our vertices and faces coordinates. Next, open the model you wanna render in Blender and make sure you're in edit mode, click faces, and press triangulate faces. We need this to be triangles because we will use the triangle method. Now, if you press indices, you can see each face and each vertice has their own number. We will use these numbers later in a list to create our model in OpenGL. Next, open up the text editor in Blender. We will need to write a little script to export all our vertices and faces. So you can follow along or you can just copy the one from the description. But basically what we're doing is we're appending every vertice into a list into a file. Same with every face. If you look at the faces text file, you see all the coordinates and same thing with the vertices. Then we create our Python file and import all the libraries, Pygame, System and OpenGL. Next, we need to create a string variable that stores our path to our text file. Now, you can easily get this just by going to your folder where your text files are saved and copying that path. Next, we need to create a list of tuples which store our color values. Now, you can get different colors if you want, just look up the RGB values. Next, we create our getList function which takes our path as a parameter and then converts the text file into a list of tuples. Now this is important because we need to convert pretty much lines of strings into lists of floating numbers. Since our function returns a list, we just have to assign it to a variable. Next we create a function to draw our faces. Pretty much you start by clearing the screen, then you draw each face, color it with a paint value, and then we have to convert it into integers because our list is floating points. Next, we're going to set up our main function. So we start out by initiating Pygame, creating a window and setting the FPS. Next, we're going to render our object onto the screen and create some Boolean values. Now, this is important because you might have to tweak the GL translate and GL rotate um, values based on your model. Next, I'm creating a simple move object function. If we press left, we're going to rotate left. If we press right, we're going to rotate right. And then we're setting our game loop with some simple input functions that come with Pygame. Lastly, we render everything. And if we launch our application, we have our scarecrow rendered on the screen. And we can press A and D to move it left and right. Now you can also tweak the colors if you follow this code. Just try and mess around, see what you can figure out. Here are some random color combinations you can try. Thank you for watching this video. Um, hopefully you can follow along. If not, you can just copy the code. I will post both Blender and uh, Python codes down in the description. Now, you can also use this method of rendering if you know the coordinates of a shape. You can draw it on a piece of graph paper and kind of count it manually. So feel free to try that too. And I will see you in the next one.